Hey, what's up guys? It's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new movie. The name of this movie is as you have guys guessed from the title, What if Naruto was turned into a dragon? And as you have guys guessed, I have already uploaded the next part of What if Naruto was an angel. I hope you check that out as well after seeing this one. And if you haven't, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And without further ado, let's continue our story. Our story begins as we see Naruto and Jiraiya training at the end of a cliff. Naruto, you have to focus. Focus a lot of chakra for this to work. Do it, Erosanin. I hope it works out. And if you if it didn't, I will come back as a soul and haunt you for the rest of your life. Trust me, kid. I done my calculation. It will work, probably. You old fool, if I ever die, I will come back and haunt you and burn all of your Ichaichas. Ichas. As drag grew a tick mark. Oh well, here goes nothing. Brace yourself, kid, as Jiraiya said and pushed Naruto down the cliff. As Naruto began to yell, Naruto, use the hand seals and push as much as chakra as you can. As Naruto did, but nothing. Jiraiya became worried. Oh shit, Naruto? Naruto, can you hear me? Naruto! Nothing. And suddenly, a huge figure passed by him just an inches away from his face into the air as he fell back on his ass as he saw his neck turning towards the sky wide eyes a huge dragon with red scaly body purple fins on back from head to tail and blue eyes as the dragon landed in front of him on the ground on all its four paws. What the hell, Erosan in the Dragon Ball? Naruto? No, John Vic. Of course it's me, Naruto. Uh, but, but, uh, how? Well, if I had the answer, why would be asking you, you damn old fool? Uh, this is going to be a headache to explain to Sensei. Tell you better, I don't know how to turn back. Back with the village hidden in the leaves, Hokage Tower. On Hiruzen's desk, a scroll popped into a existence out of nowhere. As Hiruzen cautiously opened the scroll after checking if there were any booby traps. There were none. As he read through the scroll, his eyes grew wide. As he shot up from his desk, Anbu, as two Anbu guards came into view. Summon Jiraiya and Naruto now! I don't know where they are. Find them! Go now! Hiruzen said and yelled, which caused Anbu to flinch as they left the Asanjin. As he saw, saw outside of the window to his village and sat back on his chair. Kami sama, please stop playing these kind of games with me. I'm too damn old for this shit already. Ah, <sighs> hurry up, you two. And you really need to explain this to Jiraiya as well as Naruto before anything happens. Uh, as the school said, I guess it already did. Back with Naruto turned dragon as Jiraiya there. Jiraiya was still kind of shocked. Um, Naruto, are you still there? Yes, I am, Erasani. I'm still there. How did you turn into... Dragon, I thought they were mythical creatures only. <sighs> Again, I don't know, Erasani. I just pumped out a lot of chakra, but then I was about to hit the ground and I closed my eyes. And suddenly, I. When I opened my eyes, I was transformed into. Dragon, I guess. As two Anbus came into view, and when they saw Jiraiya and a huge dragon. Wait, dragon? They rushed towards Jiraiya and got into battle formation. Jiraiya sama, where is Naruto? You and Naruto are to be present in front of Fukage sama. Now. Well, Naruto, you heard him. We gotta go. As both of the Anbu members jaws dropped to the ground behind their mask. What? You mean to say Jiraiya sama that, that, that dragon is Naruto? But, but how? 
I don't know. Maybe the Hokage has an answer to this. Naruto, would you be so kind to give us a lift? I'm not a taxi, you old pervert. Go by feet. Come on, you're just a giant dragon with wings, you can fly. And it'll be more convenient for us as well, don't you guys think? Jiraiya said with a tease as both of the on boost red drop. I think we would rather stay on our feet and leave. You can enjoy the dragon's top view. Hey, I can still hear you too. Uh, sorry about that, Naruto. Said a bore must Anbu. And the Torah uh, must Anbu then said, Bore, let's leave. Please come early, Jiraiya Sama. Ah, work's just coming. Go and form the sensei that we're be there in five minutes. Come on, Naruto. Just one ride. <sighs> Fine, get on. As Naruto was about to fly, hey Naruto, um, can you go from this direction? He said, pointing at the west. Why? It will take a long, longer time. Just go, please. <sighs> Fine. As Naruto started to fly towards that direction and head towards the village. It will take two to three minutes more to reach the village from going through this road. And when they were passing by the air, they saw that there was a lake down there and a lot of girls were bathing there. As Jiraiya was laughing pervertedly and scribbling on his book on Naruto's back. You old pervert! I should have known better! Naruto said. Ah, oh, come on! Now, look straight ahead, Bujia. And let me focus. You know what? I should let you fall from here. Hmm. You will survive, I know for sure, because you always do somehow. And the poor vi women down there will kill you, I guess. <laughs> what do you think, Dry Pale? You can't be serious, Naruto, can you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, Gaki. It's just for our research. This is the true art. You don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. It's just the old perverted smut novels of yours that I don't know some disgusting idiot closed pervert's life. Back in Konoha, a must and one eyed Jonin sneezed. Huh, I guess someone must have been talking about me. Huh, anyways, he shrugged his shoulder and started to read his Icha Icha again and he, as he started to giggle pervert lately. Back with Jiraiya and Naruto. As they reached the village, they were flying above it as every ninja in the village became active and the civilians were evacuating because they saw a dragon flying over their village as the dragon landed atop of the Hokage monument as it let out a roar that sent shiver down everyone's spine as Jiraiya then came down from his back Oi! Are you trying to blow off my ears? <laughs> Ah, oh, that was so funny. You should have seen your face, Arasanin, said the dragon Naruto. Uh, damn, you overgrown lizard. As instantly, a lot of Anbu's Jonins and Ruzen himself came into view. Ah, Gigi, finally a person I can talk to. Stand there, beast. Oi, get back. I need to talk to Gigi now. Gigi, there is only one person who can say that. Yes, I know, Dragon. Naruto. So, how are you taking your transformation? Uh, it's kind of convenient, but at the same time inconvenient, Gigi. I can't go into the village or eat ramen like this. I mean, look at these claws, he said, motioning his front claws. I can't even use my hands properly. Feet. Uh, I don't know what to say to this. Pause, I guess. Tizumi said. Ah, thank you, Kiba's mom. Zumi, Zumi Inazuka. Naruto. Ah, Zumi san, that it is. Hmm. Yashi then activated his Bakugan and then turned it off. His whole chakra network is changed. His chakra color is red. So then, QB asked Ak uh, Choza Akamichi, No, it's not QB's chakra, it's like his own chakra. Hmm, that is interesting, said Inuichi. What do you think, Shikaku? Ah, what a drag. It's already been in the ass that we have a huge dragon to take care of now. I don't know. 
And what's with all of you coming to me with seeking answers? I'm not a scholar or anything. Shikaku said with a deadpan look. Well, all of them sweat dropped. <clears throat> the reason said, gaining everyone's attention as well as Naruto's. Naruto, I know why are you turned into a dragon. As everyone's worked up at this. Why, Gigi? Ah. <sighs> I wish I can tell you here, but you have to turn back to human and come to my office for me to inform you uh, about the whole procedure. Well, Gigi, that's the thing. I don't know how to. Uh, I guess I have to explain things here, I guess. It's from your mother's side, Naruto. Her name was Kushina Uzumaki. She was the last of Uzumaki clan, and she died at your birth. And no, I can't tell you of your father yet. Naruto's jaw dropped, and so everyone else. As some of the Anbu flinched at remembering Kushina Uzumaki because they, some of them were her classmates at one point. And so were the clan heads. As then one Anbu member with purple hair came out. You mean to say, Hokage-sama, she's Kushina Sensei's son? Ah, yes, Yuko, she is. You, why didn't you inform us, any of us? Began Zumi, because she was like a sister to Kushina. We could have taken care of him, she said, clenching her knuckles and growling a little bit. Well, the elders and Danzo thought it would be best if no one was informed and Naruto was raised as a orphan. As Naruto was silent, Gigi. You knew all this time. I'm sorry, Naruto. I did. As Naruto in an anger let out another mighty roar, sending some of the shivers down everyone's spine. Naruto? Ah, nothing. I'm just letting out steam. I don't know why I just do that when I, where I let out some steam. And there's soothing afterwards. I'm not mad at you, Gigi. I know what you did. You have some sort of reason behind it that you will tell me in the future. Huh, I guess you aren't dumb, Naruto. Jirai said, Oi, what's that supposed to mean, Erosanin? You want me to reveal some of the secrets in front of all these ladies here? He was referring to Zumi, Yugao, and some of other Anbu ladies and Jones there. Anko and Kurunai, mainly. What kind of please do tell, Zumi said, with a lot of sweet smile at the, uh, as Jiraiya could see Shinigami or some kind of demon aura behind each and every one of the women. As Naruto explained that how Jiraiya made him flew a longer route and he was scribbling down on a notebook to write down about some naked women inside a spring and he was about to put them in his new addition to HHA Paradise. The males had some nosebleed which they covered as the women were now chasing after Jiraiya who was screaming, I will get you for this gaki. Remember, I will extract my revenge. I am Jiraiya, the gallant, the toad Sani. Ah! Not the hair! As Jiraiya ran from his life, dodging as many kunais and other stuff as he can. Heh, <laughs> suck on that, you old pervert. Naruto, Kakashi arrived in front of him. Please turn back. It's kind of scaring everyone here. As did Konoha 11. Father, said Hinata. What is going on, Hinata? What are you doing here? Yeah, mom. What is going on here? Kiba, I told you to stay at clan compound. Why are you here? Well, we all came after we saw that dragon over there came by. Aren't these used to be just stories? Hey, I'm standing in front of you. Narada said in a grovelly voice. He was already thinking of pranking them. Why is a dragon here? Oh, I am here to take a sacrifice in order for me to not attack your village. A sacrifice? Everyone and each one of them flinched. As the elders and the Jonis sweat dropped. Uh, same old Naruto, even if he became a dragon, still pranking everyone. So, so, what, what, who have you chosen? 
Of course, you, Hinata. You are the kindest soul that I have seen here. And I will be taking you. Of course. As Hinata failed. No, please, father, you can't. Calm down, Hinata. It's just a... Yes, I will be taking you. Yashi was cut off by Naruto as he was trying to imitate a deep voice for a dragon. As Hiruzen then sighed and said, Cut the crap, Naruto. Stop scaring your fellow Ganins. As everyone's jaw dropped and eyes came out of their sockets. N Naruto? You mean to say that that dragon is Naruto? Began Ino, asking her father. Yes, Ino. That dragon is Naruto. But but how? Yeah. How come Dobe became a dragon? And a cool one at that, as Sasuke was thinking. Hmm. The hoops look rather ferocious and strong. I wonder where he got that power from. It's his kek again, Kai. Began Hiruzen, getting annoyed by Naruto's prank. As Naruto was already laughing. <laughs> you should have seen your faces. Ah, what a drag, stupid blonde. You should have told us so. You almost gave us all a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, I love you too, Shika. But you got to admit, it was kind of a fun joke. Don't ya, Hinata-chan? <laughs> Is it permanent? I don't know. That's why I'm here, I guess. No, it isn't, Hinata. Again, Hiruzen. Really, Gigi? Can I really turn back? Yes, Nard. You can. And for that, you have to wait a week. What? A week? But but I have tuning exams six days from now. Oh, I'm sorry, Naruto. But you have to week one more day. Hmm. So can you do anything? Yes, actually I can. Because you're the last of Uzumaki clan. So I can give you a little bit of leverage, I guess. Thanks, Gigi. You're the best. <laughs> Don't mention it, Naruto. So, where will I stay? Since I'm in this farm, why don't you stay here? Hmm, good idea. I mean, how bad it could be sleeping on the hard floor? Naruto, you're a freaking dragon. Where would you else like to be? You can come to our compound, Zumi said. Mother, really? Kiba said excitingly. Yeah, he can. I mean, we have a huge ground for our hounds to play at. He can sleep there. It'll be big enough for three of his size to be fit there. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks a bunch, Zumi-san. I won't cause a problem, and you'll never even know I was there. And time skip one day. Naruto was dying on the field of Inuzuka compound, a long luscious field full of grass as Naruto was snoring silently and sleeping as hounds, ninja hounds were looking at him curiously as were some Anbus and Konoha 11 which Naruto could sense each and every one of but he just tried to play it off and sleep as Naruto said I can feel each and every one of you come out guys as everyone flinched, but Konoha 11 came and came in front of Naruto as Naruto's eyes shot open and looked each and every one of them. What is it? What is it, guys? I'm trying to sleep here. Um, Naruto, so, um, how does it feel to turn into a dragon? Oh, I feel awesome. I mean, look at me, I'm a huge dragon. Ooh, nah, it feels terrible. It sucks. I have to lie on the ground. Ah, I want to go back home. I can't even eat ramen. Heck, I'm getting hungry now. Ah, I guess I have to go and hunt. As suddenly, a wild boar ran past by Naruto. A hound of wild boars. Naruto's stomach growled. Oh my god, those look so delicious. Wait a minute, guys. And in a flash of speed, Naruto vanished, flying into the air. For a huge dragon himself, and as he breathed yellow flames from his mouth and roasted the whole hound of the wild boars, and proceeded to eat them. Mm, finally, that was delicious. As Naruto came back, 
still chewing on some boars and lie down. Nardo, did, did you eat a hound of boars? A wild boars at that? Yeah, I was getting hungry. So what did you expect? To eat some more ramen? Oh, come on. I got a big stomach now. I can't eat ramen. Besides, it's even smaller than my nail. Huh, you guess. I guess you're right. Nara, she got Maru Nara said. Hey, Naruto. I can ask my dad to provide you some beef. Oh, that will be awesome, Choji. I promise I'll pay you back for this. I oh, don't need to pay. You have Kamichis always eat a lot. And made, making a little bit more won't it hurt. Was... Thanks, Choji. Thanks a bunch. Hey, Naruto, keep on the name. Can you, um, give us a ride in the air? I want to kind of feel how it feels like to be going in the air. <sighs> Get on my back. And it's going to be only one time. So you better enjoy it. As everyone cheered and got back on his back. Even Sasuke, who grunted and got back. He was kind of annoyed that Naruto got this huge power and he was just using it for fun and wasting its potential. As I thought, I should have been this been given this power. Then again, it's a kick again, Kai. I can't have it no matter much how much hard I try. But I have, but what I have is the Sharingan. I will train in that. Ah, oh, damn it, this mark hurts. Yes, Orochimaru did mark Sasuke at that time. As we see the whole Konoha 11 standing atop of Naruto's back using chakra on their feet and flying as Naruto flew in air at higher speeds. Whoa, that's so cool! Kiba began as everyone else was laughing and cheering. And so was Hinata. For the first time, and everyone was surprised that such a shy me girl could laugh like that. As Naruto kind of liked it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. As Naruto took a diving position as dived straight towards the village, much to the surprise and horror of everyone else in the village, in the hidden of leaves. As everyone began to run, as they saw a giant dragon heading towards them. As Naruto took a 190 degree turn and straight shot up in the air. Much to the relief of the villagers and surprise of the Kona High Lab, who were cheering and enjoying the ride. And after 20 minutes or so of flying, Naruto landed back in the Inazuka compound. So, did you enjoy that? Naruto asked. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Back with Kabuto. When Kabuto informed of this to Orochimaru, he said, Oh hell no, nah, I'm not going to attack that. I don't want to get steam roasted and eaten by that huge dragon. Because Orochimaru had already studied about the Uzumakis and thought that Naruto wasn't an original Uzumaki, it was just a given name to honor the fallen clan. But once it was revealed that Naruto was a chosen one Uzumaki that was given the Kakegenkai of Dragon, sorry, who has awakened the Kakegenkai of Dragon, which was reversed among the Uzumakis, even, is now the guardian of Konoha, and so was the situation in the rest of the other villages, mainly in Suna, because they also fall back of their attack because they were kind of scared because they knew that the dragons were more stronger than the nine bijus. And a single dragon could take down all the nine bijus com combined. So yeah, they were not going to attack. Even Shikaku was scared when he found out that Naruto was turned into a dragon. I said, as Gara began to cry and said, No, mother doesn't want to go back there. Mother said it's dangerous. As now it confirmed for Suna that they shouldn't attack Konoha because even the one tails Shikaku was afraid of the dragon. And so was Eva, much to their distaste. And so was Kiri because once Jagura found about this, Isubu was able to break out the Kenjutsu that Toby placed on him and also was able to wake up um, Yagura from its control and Yagura surrendered to Mei and Mei became the next Mizukake and as Yagura informed that he was being controlled and everything they they interrogated him and came out as truth as he was being controlled and so Hidden Mist was over and the new Mist Village was born as for the wave country they also 
embedded a dragon emblem atop of the great Naruto bridge, referring to Naruto the dragon, the savior of their village. And as for the rest of the villages, mainly cloud and grass or any other villages similar to that, they were also kind of scared and shitting their pants and decided not to attack. As for Gatsuki, well, they were like, at this moment, they knew they fucked up. And that's fucked up. But they still had to proceed. That's even more fucked up. Because each and every one of them knew the power of the dragons, mainly Kakazu and Hidon, because they were immortals and had fought the first Okage and his wife, which was also a dragon, Mito Uzumaki. And some of them have fought Kushina Uzumaki, which was also a dragon, which died 13 to 14 years ago in a battle. When she was weakened by giving birth to Naruto. And Nagato, who was also an Uzumaki, was surprised to see that an Uzumaki, the chosen one at that, was alive. And inside Onoha, the village hidden in the leaves, meaning that they must be connected somehow. And he was not alone. And so one, so was Karin, as she was inside Oto. She also felt that. You see, with Uzumakis, they can all feel it inside them when one of their own turns into a dragon and they knew that their savior was there and their clan's guardian as well as Konoha's guardian now, meaning that their clan should move, the remaining members should move back to Konoha. And Tayuya and Karin escaped Oto and moved back to Konoha, as did Konan and Nagato. Once they arrived there, so did Jiraiya was there and met with him. And Jiraiya was kind of happy that Nagato and Konan were doing well, but was saddened suddenly when the news came that Yahiko died protecting Nagato and Konan. As Nagato let go of his control on Yahiko's body, as Yahiko's body life felt lifeless and fell to the ground, as they gave proper burial to it, as Nagato then started to heal himself and became healthy again and able to walk, the whole world things disappeared into his body again. And they also met with dragon form Naruto, who informed then to Nagato that he was the son of Kushina Uzumaki, as Nagato told them that he was her cousin, she was her big sister, cousin's sister, meaning Naruto was his relative of some sort and his family. Well, Uzumaki was a clan, or rather a big family, they were known as clan by other peoples, or described as, but they were a big family, to them they were just a family. As Nagato hugged the dragon form of Naruto, as Naruto hugged them back, as he felt the embrace of someone of his own kin. You can live in the Uzumaki compound. I was told by GGX it exists somewhere in here, and only an Uzumaki can open it, regardless of the blood. We are all our family. You can enter it, big brother Nagato. Oh yeah, I think you might want to know that Kanin and Karin and uh, Tayuya are still there. <laughs> Karin, I mixed Karin and Konan's name. <laughs> ah, anyways, on to our story. So yeah, Akatsuki was pretty much fucked up, and none of them wanted to attack Konoha anymore, as the whole Akatsuki broke when Madara ordered them to attack Konoha. What do you mean you won't? Well, are you fucking crazy? You want us to attack a dragon? I am Kakazu the Immortal. I have fought with the first Hokage, the second Hokage, and lost. And from Madara, I also lost. But Mito Uzumaki, who was a dragon at that time, <laughs> he shivered visibly, which was a surprise to everyone because Kakazu never shivered. Nor did he ever show emotions. But this was the first. She almost whooped my ass like I was a child. And. I don't want to get my ass booked again by a dragon. They are far more powerful than the Bijus. The whole mission is screwed. You can be our guest and do it yourself, motherfucker. We're leaving. 
we value our life more than the stupid ass peace that you describe as that will only cause destruction hmm. as uh I'm also going I'll go back to Kiri now fuck you Madura as Itachi then said hmm. I will also be leaving back to Konoha as much as I would love to be killed off by my brother I still don't want to enrage my a dragon that is known as the deity of that place and I know for sure once I arrive there and explain all and every events to my brother he will forgive me or else at least kill me and put me out of my misery <laughs> Itachi said as he left as well and as for the rest of them only Zetsu and Mother were made, or should we say Toby or Obito? Damn it! Obito said, Fine, I'll go there myself. Stop it, Obito. That too. Called out a third voice. It was a voice of a woman unknown. Mother? That too said. But how? Black one said. It's okay, child. Don't. The dragons. They are the guardians of this world. They exist far more behind even from when I came to this world. And they were all able to beat me. And this dragon in particular, the red one with purple scale, is the strongest of their kin, known as the Dragon King. You should not engage with it, or you will be crumbled to dust. I have already informed the rest of the Orsazukis. None of them will be ever coming or bothering this planet again. And so should you, my child. I will rest here till the day I die. But mother, you I know child, but the dragon is here now, meaning the dragon line still continues, so none of the Ortsukis will dare to return here. As for Ishiki who was still on the planet Earth forming Kara, he also sensed it. Damn it. I thought they were all extincted with that Uzumaki woman dying at birth. Uh, should have known that her child might inherit that blood mm. I guess I have no choice to leave this realm because a deity is here now and I even we or Suzuki can't go against the deities because if we do then the God's wrath will be on us damn it my old plan was for nothing I believe I Ishiki or Suzuki bow as an or Suzuki clan member to never return to this village or world as with that said, Ishiki left. Momoshiki never bothered to came. As Tinari, who was on the moon, looking after the ghetto statue, also said, Well, shit, now I can't go look for a bride there. Ah, well, I guess I gotta stay a virgin then. As a dark cloud formed on his head, as he slumped his shoulders and started to stomp his feet back to his uh, cave and sleep. As for Obito, he was enraged. No, I will go and attack that village, even if it kills me. Ah, fine, be my guest. My mission is complete. With that said, Zetsu split into two parts as the white one crumbled and the dark one went inside the ground and vanished. Vanished to the pools which was in the north of the last movie as that connected to the moon. Zetsu left to be with his mother because her mother plan was to never come to the world of humans again so yeah as Naruto was now turned into a dragon the fear spread as Konoha was now superior Danzo tried to control Naruto via Sharingan only for Naruto to put his flick his claw and Danzo was launched into the air and was shot 80,000 kilometers away from Konoha and was found dead by his Anbu which was burned to crisp by Naruto and once everyone found out that Naruto was the son of Kushina Uzumaki they already figured out Naruto was also the son of their fourth Hokage Minato no Mikaze, which to the stand of Eva caused them to piss their pants and be enraged even more because 
now they knew that they couldn't touch Konoha in any sort of way because dragons were considered as deities even far behind the time of usage of chakra or sage of six parts and the deity has chosen Konoha as his home if they tried to hurt or destroy the home of deity its curse will follow follow the land or people who tried to destroy its home for millions and millions of years ahead and so they did what any uh, smart human would do try to fucking stay away for once as not to turn back into a human form something was different he still had wings behind his back a little tail a dragon tail and otherwise he was normal the only thing different was that his eyes were blue and were slits in them black slits huh i guess these are the changes then that you were referring to dg yeah yes naruto i guess that is kind of humanish dragonish i don't know eh, works for me i guess huh lucky i have someone who is here to meet you meet her she is sonata senju hello naruto i'm sonata senju i'm your great aunt Nani? Great aunt. I'm ha half Uzumaki, half Senju. Awesome! I still have a lot of family members out there. Damn it, where the hell were you when I needed you the most? Well, you see, I don't need your whole story. And cut that background sad music for once. Damn it! As the music stopped. Now, for once, I welcome you again back to Konoha and back to... That was the monkey village, grand aunt. You are my family, I can't stay mad at you. So yeah, you're allowed to move back in. As to the village, it was revealed that Naruto was the son of their both of their heroes, Kushina Uzumaki, the prankster, and the red hot blood habanero, which sent shiver down everyone's spine, and Yondam Hokage, the yellow flash of Konoha, which sent even more shivers down everyone's spine because it mistreated them. As when they saw Naruto's dragon farm, this caused them to faint or shit their pants or piss their pants. Now they were shaking like crazy. Ah, oh, I remember a meme now that fits there. At this moment, they knew they fucked up. As they all said, um, Okage-sama, is he going to... No, he's not. For once, would you calm down? Ah, why did I ever... Nah, I don't want to remember. It was because of Tobirama Sensei. Curse you, Tobirama Sensei. You didn't even leave behind the secret to your paperwork, and now I have to deal with the people so, like them. There is no will of fire in them. I guess the gasoline finally ran out to enlighten the flames. Huh. As Naruto went, he turned back to normal. He started to date Hinata, my student Osakura. And Itachi returned and everything was ex explained to Sasuke and it turned out Sasuke was gay after all and kinda had crush on his brother. Uh, much to the distaste of U Itachi Uchiha, now he also always regretted that why didn't he kill Sasuke at that time or why didn't he kill himself before he could find out that Sasuke was gay and he had a crush on Kiba. No, he loved Kiba, none other than Kiba, uh, Inuzuka, who was like, ah, fuck it, I, not like I'm not gonna get a girl anytime soon, so why not Sasuke, huh, might as well fuck some Uchiha ass, he thought as, yeah, Kiba and Sasuke became a gay couple, Ugh. as this caused Sakura to go almost in depression alongside Ino, well, Ino suddenly found Sai, who was rescued from Danzo's onboard division and yeah he was now a loyal ninja to Konoha and was dating Ino, my two descent of Sakura who was left alone. Now she regretted that she ever hated Naruto and loved Sasuke who will in turn out in turn was a gay and her mother was still forcing her to marry Sasuke and she said to her mother that he was gay and she was not going to marry a gay person. Ugh. The thought of it even killed her. 
As finally she agreed to go on a date with Rock Lee, much to everyone's surprise and she found herself really like liking him. And fast forward 8 years, we see a grown up Naruto taking the mentality of the 7th Hokage after Kakashi and the war never happened because everyone was scared shitless because of Adaiti's new existence. And yeah, back to the future. Naruto was married to Hinata and had Boruto and Imamori. Lord help us from Boruto. And please don't kill Naruto in the series. I really hope. Anyways, back to the story. Uh, Naruto took the mentality of Okage. He still had wings and yeah. A tail behind his back as his daughter also had little wings behind her back Imawari and Boruto still got nothing except for the Jogan as for Hinata she was happy and Sakura had a son named Metal Lee and much to her distant he uh, like her husband Rock Lee was also fanatic about flames of youth and stuff which she would, the, she would have to beat the crap out of both of them and calm them down each and every time. As for Ino and Sai, they still had Ino, Inojin and the rest of them were married as well, same pairs, except for Sakura. And Kiba and Sasuke were still married and somehow, due to medical ninjutsu's wonders, Sasuke was able to get pregnant and they had a daughter. I'm not gonna name it cause I don't have time for that, you just guys just name it for yourselves. Much to distaste and distant of everyone but they were happy for them, because yeah, they were happy. And as their friends they supported them, and they were happy that they had a child. Still kind of creepy and grossing out that a male having conceiving a child but still, they were happy for them. As Naruto took the mentality of the 7th Hokage and waved at his people with a huge grin plastered on his face and his parents smiling from heaven down to him this was the best ending possible as this is where i'm going to be leaving this movie off of guys i know it's kind of a short movie i try to make it as funny as possible and yeah i guess i kind of worked it out or not comment down below if you like this one and yeah guys i will be uploading the next part of what if naruto was turned into an angel so stay tuned for that this is apollo uchiha and i'm signing out peace